Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up sub collections on your Shopify store. Sub collections are a great way to improve product discoverability, and it's actually really easy to set up. So let's get started. Okay, so first, I'm gonna show you an example of a Shopify store that already has sub collections set up on it. Okay, as you can see, we're on a Shopify store called the crimsonsparkler.com. Now, the owner of the store actually reached out to me personally and asked me to help him create sub collections on his collections pages. Shout out to you, Anthony, if you're watching the video at home, this one's for you. Okay, so you can see we're on a collections page on his store called For Her. The For Her collections page has a sister sub collection, a mom sub collection, and a daughter sub collection slash granddaughter, right? And you see there are actual products in the collection right here. If I were to click on one of the sub collections, it leads me to a different collections page with more products to show off. That is exactly what I'm gonna be showing you how to set up right now. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a look at my Shopify test store, Apple's Wishlist. You can see right now I'm on a collections called Valentine's Day. Now I know, I know it's not February, it's not Valentine's Day. Let's just pretend that it is Valentine's Day, okay? So it's Valentine's Day. I have all these products in my collection. Imagine I wanted to add a sub collection to this. So let's try to do that right now. So if you wanna reach this kind of window, you wanna go into your store and you want to go to online store, pick the theme you wanna work in and click customize. Now, of course, as a rule of thumb, whenever I'm doing any kind of development work in these tutorials, you want to make a duplicate of your live theme if you're working on that before you start working. It's crucial to do this because if you make a mistake, you always have something you can roll back to. So you're gonna click customize on whatever theme you're working on and you're gonna pick your collections page template. You can see I only have one collection template called default collection. So let's work with that. So first I'm gonna show you the way not to do this. So you see I have all of these sections right here on the left side. I'm going to add in a new section called collection list. Probably have this section installed on your store. And if not, you probably have some kind of collection that allows you to list out collections on your store, right? So I have collection list. So I'm gonna put the collections list underneath the slideshow. So it shows up underneath where it says Valentine's Day. And then here, I'm just gonna pick three collections. So let's pick earrings. Let's pick his and hers. And let's go with, hold on. Let's see here. I don't know, gold jewelry. Cool, so I have three sub collections on my collections page, right? Now this seems like it works so far. I'm gonna show you why this is the wrong way to do this right now. So these are the sub collections I have showing up on my Valentine's Day collection. And I'm gonna change the title here to say, I don't know, sub collections. When you're doing this, come up with a better title that actually describes what it is you're trying to do. But for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna call it sub collections. So this is what I have, right? I'm gonna show you why this doesn't work. So let's switch over to a different collections page now. I am gonna go back here and I'm gonna change the active collection to be, I don't know, earrings. I'm on the earrings collection now. If I scroll down, I see the sub collections for earrings, his and hers, and gold jewelry. This is not gonna work. Now, the reason why this is not gonna work is because if I go to any collections page, these three collections are gonna be the one that shows up. If I were to change this gold jewelry collection right here, let's say I changed it into watch charms, right? If I change that and then I switch back to my Valentine's Day collection, we can see that watch charms is showing up as the last collection. So the only way that you would do this this way is if you don't care about which collections show up. You want the same collections to show up on every single collections page as a sub collection. Also, if you want every collections page to look the same. Remember, I'm working on the default collection template. So another problem with this is that, let's say there are some collections that I don't want sub collections to show off on, like his and hers, right? If I click into it, sub collections are there. The his and hers sub collection is on his and hers. Obviously that's a problem as well. And let's say I didn't want any sub collection showing up at all. How do I do this? Now, if I were to go in and hide the sub collection from showing up on his and hers, 
But then if I were to go back to the Valentine's select uh, collection, you can see that the sub collections aren't there. So all the collections pages that use the same template are all sharing data with each other. So the only way we can create sub collections in a way that allows us to customize each individual collection and make them different from each other is to do two things. Those two things are to one, create a new collections template to include the sub collections on and two we're going to make use of meta fields to set up the sub collections so let's go do that right now okay so let's go in and create a new collection template first so we're gonna leave actually no we're gonna go back to customize sorry and we're gonna go to where it says collections and we're gonna click create template we're gonna create a new name for the template i am just going to call it sub collection because I am basic and have no creative ideas. So we're gonna create a new collection template called sub collection and we're gonna base it on the default collection because that is the only collection we currently have. Now, if you have other collections set up on your store, you can base this collection on whatever you want. You can name it whatever you want. The point is we just need a new template for this. So create template, right? Boom, we got the sub collection template. I am going to change the collection that's using the template right now to that Valentine's Day collection because that's what we're using for our example. So now I'm gonna go in and I am going to add a new section called collection list. And we are going to bring this underneath the slideshow so it pops up right underneath Valentine's Day. So I have three collection blocks set up with collection list. So I will set up exactly three meta fields. So let's show you exactly how that's gonna work. So keep this window open. You can open up a new tab and you're gonna go back to your Shopify admin. And you are going to look at a collection. So for me, actually no. You're gonna to go to settings and you're going to go to custom data. Inside of custom data is where you have the meta field definitions. Remember, we need a meta field for this. So if we go to collections, we can add a new meta field definition. So I am going to call it sub collection one. I know I'm so creative with these names, right? And then for the description, you can just give it a simple description like uh, sub collection, <laughs> sub collection or collections page. Please use better names and descriptions than me. So for select type, this is important. You're going to want to scroll through all the types until you find the collection type. So I know you might be tempted to pick list of collections. We're only going to click one collection and then we're going to hit save. And then we're going to make two more. So sub collection two. And then we're going to do the same thing. Look for the collection meta field type one collection, not listed collection. You wanna pick one collection, hit save. Okay, one more. All right. And we are going to pick the collection subtype again, the meta field, and we're gonna click save. So you should have three collections, well, three meta fields called sub collection. Sub collection one, sub collection two, sub collection three. All right, let's close this out. And in the admin, you're gonna find the collection you wanna work on. So go to products, go to collections. Again, for me, the collection is called Valentine's Day, but for you, it'll be called something else. So just find it. And if you scroll to the bottom of that page, you should have a new option, a new section called meta field, where you can set sub collections. All right, so I am going to pick three collections now. I'm going to pick gold jewelry. I'm going to pick his and hers. And I'm going to pick, I don't know, rings. No, love in Paris. There we go, that sounds nice. All right, so we're gonna save that. Now, we're gonna save that and we're going to come back to this page over here. Actually, one last thing we need to do, we need to change the collection template 
being used for this collections page. Remember, originally I was using the default collection. Now I have a new option called sub collection. I'm gonna pick that and then we're gonna hit save. And then we're gonna refresh back on the theme customizer. So I'm previewing the Valentine's Day collection still. Now you can see these are still empty. Now we're gonna go in and populate them with data. So you're gonna find the section called collection list. Let me delete the old one. And what we're gonna do here is on each block level where it says select collection, we're not gonna click this button. We're gonna click this icon right here to connect a dynamic source. We're gonna pick the meta field that we just created in our previous step as the dynamic source for this block. And we're gonna go in over here and we're gonna pick, yep. And then we're gonna pick the sub collection three for the last dynamic source. And those collections are showing up now. Now here's the really cool thing, right? I did mention previously that if you do this like this, these collections will be unique to whatever collections page you're working on. So when you do it with meta fields, it's pulling the data from whatever collection you're on. So if I were to switch to a different collection, you won't see these sub collections show up. So let's say I were to change to the Boomy Jewelry collection, right? Those sub collections aren't there. The data is not being shared in this case because I'm using meta fields. So let's go to the Boomy Jewelry collection, just as an example, let's type it in. And I'm gonna pick a different sub collection for each one. So let's say I pick pendants and then I pick silver bracelets and then I pick watch charms. We're gonna save that. So now if I were to refresh the page on the Boomy Jewelry collection, you'll see those meta fields showing up. Now I know what you're thinking. Patrick, didn't you say that they're gonna also show up on the other collections page? Remember, since we're using meta fields, these sub collections are truly unique to this collections page now. So if I were to switch over to the Valentine's Day collection, it's different. If I were to switch back to the Boomy Jewelry collection, it's different. So in my opinion, this is the best way to create sub collections on Shopify so that you don't have to you know, share data between different collections. It's truly unique to each collection. The only thing you wanna make sure you do is to save your work. Whatever collection you want that sub collection to show on, you just switch the theme template to the template that includes the sub collections. Okay, that's it. If you've been following along so far, you should have working sub collections on your Shopify store collections page. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I want you to watch this next video I have about how to set up a mega menu on your Shopify store. Mega menus are an amazing tool to help you show off even more of your products and collections and help your customers find more of your stuff. If that's a video you wanna watch, you should see it on the screen somewhere like right here. Click that video right there so you can watch that. Okay, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.